So the services are made up of um, seven, currently seven residential establishments. So that's five learning disability establishments and two older people residential establishments. Now they are a mixture of long-term and short-term um, places. So we have long-term people that are living, they live in our residential services and they very much are the people that direct the way in which services are delivered within there. And we also have a number of um, short break beds where we support families in the community to have a break and they come into one of our residential services and, and that is the way that we support people to, to remain caring for their loved ones by giving them some short breaks. We've just recently been through a, a day opportunities um, review and we have now got seven day opportunity services across the county. We're very proud of those services and it's very much about community presence and it's about uh, how we can support people to stay independent as possible but local in their local community. We also have a shared lives service, uh, that's a county-wide service and shared lives I think it's akin to adult fostering so you, you think about fostering and, and shared lives is, is the adult version of that. So again that's a very big service and that is across the county as well.